To my future to self. Your future self. To my future self. To my future self. I hope these 10 months were all that you had hoped for and more. I hope you know how proud I am of you for letting God guide you back to New York, for, letting God, for not letting the doubts and the fears of others stop you from answering his call. I hope you found the woman you've always wanted to be, the woman God designed you to be. And I hope you were able to let God pull her out of you because she's been there all along. Lulu, when you came back to New York, you knew it was God who had called you and that he had made a way for you. But you didn't really know what, you would, what would await you. You were expectant, excited, and a little worried. You had done something like this before, and as much as it had taught you, it had left you bruised. Know that these 10 months were an entirely different time set apart by God to build you back up, to affirm you, and to root you deeper in him. Let this time reshape you, reframe you, your experiences, and renew your soul. Lulu, I hope you were able to let your walls down once and for all. Don't be afraid to let people in, but most importantly, don't be afraid to let God in and give him the space to transform you. Don't be afraid of what comes next, because God has prepared the way and he's prepared you. I hope you know how much God loves you and how precious you are. And I hope you walk in that truth every day. Did you feel? Yeah, pretty spot on. Yeah. Dear future self, look how far you've come. Look how much you've grown. You did what you felt God called you to do, and you went where you felt God called you to go. I'm in the middle of knowing that I'm where I'm supposed to be, yet I feel alone and as though I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But I'm learning to trust God in the midst of not knowing. I'm learning to trust God for relationships and how to be the friend that I would want. I'm learning how to trust God in the process and how to love Him for His presence. I pray that you will have such a deep love for the presence of God as I am longing for. I pray that you will learn how to be open and real with people. I pray that you will walk in humility. I pray that you will continue to take steps so that your faith can be grown. Remember the things that God has done for you when you feel lost, confused, or you're not sure where to go next. Remember God's faithfulness. God spoke and told you to come to New York City. Why would he not guide you from here and provide for you? Remember that Jesus is always the only one that can fill that hole of longing within you. Cheyenne, I remember the fight you had put up with God at the initial thought of coming back to the city. Already at this point, you're aware that the Lord is healing you and growing you more than what you had already expected. I'm proud of you already for saying yes to Jesus, even when it seemed hard to do. This year, I want you to grow, of course, but even more specifically, I want you to believe in yourself. You're more than capable to do what the Lord has called you to do. This year, I want you to look anxiety and your fear of failure in the face and start doing the things that make you uncomfortable. I want you to finally say enough is enough and just start believing in yourself. You are good enough. You are talented enough. You are a daughter of the King and he has a good and perfect plan for you. And this year will be different. I pray you don't walk away with any regrets. Even when things don't make sense, remember the dramatic call that the Lord gave you to the city. You're doing incredible and there's purpose in being here. <laughs> it's like I remember writing these words but not believing them. Um, and yeah, I think 
definitely this year. Like the Lord's challenged me a lot in that, um, especially in anxiety. Like, I don't know. It's just ha I'm happy to see like the things that I was wishing for actually happen. So, yeah. <laughs> To my future self, I hope that you are able to rest in confidence in where you are and what God is doing. Even if you still don't know what's next, you're going to be okay. And I pray that regardless of what type of season you're walking into, that you just let yourself live it with joy. I know it's hard for you to believe this, but God wants you to live a life of joy. I pray that you remember that God does not just value the work that you do, but God cares for you. I pray that resting in that in the fact that you are his daughter becomes a habit in your life. Remember that God is God and God is good regardless of where you are. And I pray that you never stop reaching out to him and never stop listening to him. God does want to do something new and beautiful in your life. And I pray that you stop fearing that and press on with open hands and heart. I pray that you remember these past two years with joy and that you let him remind you of his grace and the ability that he has to work in you and use you in beautiful ways. Sincerely, your past self.